Oh, okay. Nice. This is the solution. So just auto paste this one. It it got accepted. Okay. By the way, I'm Jared, software engineer. Um, I don't know. I don't know what house to echo. A lot of you guys are doing interviews right now, and you're doing. I don't know. You're probably doing elite code for some sort of string manipulation algorithm. Some, and you don't like it because uh, it sucks. A lot of us have these lead code problems and we're like, I don't understand them. What if we could communicate with Code Llama live and solve some of these problems? Just use the prompt, the question as a prompt and prompt Code Llama and, and actually connect to Code Llama through a co an API that's just running on Colab. Uh, and then we're going to pass up automatically the language that's here so we're going to do some we're going to scrape the page for information and we're going to automatically toss that information use uh to our api using chrome extension and everything and uh it's all going to be in the content scripts and all that so yeah it's great what is this going to be called lead code solver 10x lead code solver we create a manifest JSON. There's legitimately a project already called 10x lead something. So I couldn't tab it when I CD it into the directory. That's crazy. All right. So I'm actually just going to take some Chrome extension code I already have. Anyway. All right. Here's our code. We have, let's uh, get a, um, you know what? Let's actually get a React project here. Okay, so let's start. Let's start figuring this, this out. So I think the way it should work is, I mean, the obvious thing is we have a like a button that, that has we have a form, a solver form. So let's create a component here. Let's do the some of the front end, set up some of the front end first, and then hook it hook it up. We're actually going to do front end uh, extension stuff and then we're going to hook up the because the collab's simple. All right, let's go. Let's go, Jared. What do I have here? So many projects. Okay, let's go to the lead code solver. Does this work just like Chrome? We good? Okay, cool. It's right here. Nice. Is this it? Let's add the pin up here so we can see it. This is action required manifest version of at least three okay this is why i like doing my own webpack you know i'm just gonna do my own webpack let's, let's, let's stop this. um oh nice Okay, just it loaded. All right, so now we have a disk folder with an index bundle and we have an index HTML. Nice, cool. All right, so we have a solve it button. Let's design the app a little bit. Let's design the app a little bit. Let's create like a little header. Lead code solver. And we're gonna design all this stuff from scratch. Exelon Center. Okay. There is no lead code problem to solve. This is our empty state here. So we have the empty state. Let's make the actual state. So this problem info is going to have a couple things. Let's go back to lead code. We're on this two sum problem. And we want to have the information is going to be this. So we're going to have the, we'll make like a default state here. So we need the problem description. And what else do we need? We need the language. Okay, so I think that's all we need is the language and the problem. Let's run this. Yeah, this is actually yes, all the only thing. So what we want to do is if a problem exists, we're gonna say we're just gonna have like a little list of items here to the div, not list. All right. Okay, that's about what we want, want it to look like. It's just going to show the problem in here. So in this solve it, let's actually make the solve it button look a little okay. Nice. Nice. Okay. All right. So when we go to the page, we're going to scrape the language off the page. 
and we're going to scrape it that the problem and then we're going to get that information and then we're going to run to solve it we should maybe have like a testing grounds yeah, yeah, yeah. let's have a testing grounds where it, it gives the information in a little text area and you can like copy it to your clipboard or it'll automatically you can have a little option to automatically paste it in so uh, just a simple two sum problem in lead code. All right, so now let's go and let's run this in the background just in case it's intensive. It shouldn't be intensive. The query select every 100 milliseconds is not intensive. All right, we can actually send this data up now. When we click it, we can integrate the solve button. So let's do it. All right, where's the solve? So we need to, let's make a function to generate prompt to be like you are a senior software engineer bot get lead code problems i don't know if it, it maybe it knows what that is and solve them you must follow the directions you're given must implement each constraint that is given respond with the solution written in the given programming language and then what else helps all right well let's let's go in the collab let's, let's set up the collab let's just do it let's just set up the go go to the, the, the karen bot okay so let's connect to this we've done most of the setup so now we should we're gonna be doing some some prompting, some prompt engineer. Okay, so we'll use the lead code problem info dot problem text, lead code problem info dot language text. We run a fetch to the API. We'll put the API up here. So this will be the API URL. Oh, okay. Nice, this is the solution, it did it, yay! I should say, um, yeah, my text box here is messed up. All right, let's 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 test this solution. All right, let's see if this extra solution works. Chart. No viable conversion from in to... <laughs> I'm not debugging. Oh, I just totally forgot, we gotta give it the, the, the code to fill in. That's fine. Let's uh let's do the let's solve it again. I need a loading state. A couple things. I need a loading state. I need to fix this text area, which I should do right now. Okay, it keeps explaining stuff. I told it specifically not to. We gotta say complete the function. I totally forgot that it actually gives um the function. Let's run this. So let's uh run. Hey, it accepted the answer it gave us. <laughs> All I did was click this solve button, get a response. I pasted the code here. I moved it. I like put it in the place. We're going to make it so it auto completes. A couple things. We got to make it so it auto completes. So it does it. It solved the problem. We have it. You have a lead code problem solved. If you have, I could right now do an interview and then just get the solution immediately. And, and then I'd be like, hold on a second. <laughs> okay, I got to write out a couple of things. We're not done. We're not done at all. So, toed. So, auto complete the, the given code instead. Have it write pseudocode first and fill it out piece by piece with delays. Ah, that's so cool. All right, yeah. And then we have to auto type the answer with delays <laughs> and then like random but these are options so this is like the settings option so you can have an auto typing and then you can just have auto pasting so we have options so the options are auto type auto paste so first i gotta do the i gotta so we gotta scrape the um this area right here. Source code. Source code text. Okay. You will be given source. Okay, let's check it this time. Okay. Solution. It's very cheap. There is our collab here. 
It says, sure, here's the Python. It it did it. So it did do it, but like it filled it in, which is nice. I appreciate it. See. Yeah, it's the same exact code. Beautiful. So it, it did it, but it still did the whole like, here's the code thing. Um, so you know what I'll do? I'll accept that. And, but we'll do something to per post process it to auto type it in. And let's do that now. And we'll say with human delay. Okay, so here are our op options buttons here. Core guide. What is core guide? Oh, it's called Monaco editor. Monaco editor. I'm trying to see if Monaco editor has an API that they're exposing here. Set value for get models, and is that it? Why, why is everyone giving me all this like complicated stuff? Wait a second. We don't have to create a new one. Oh my god. Well, let's see if this works. <laughs> we may not have had to intercept this function. Yay! Okay, we didn't have to do a ton of stuff that we just did. Okay. Um. Uh, so this is how we do it. So we need to get source code to write. Uh, let's refresh this. No, no errors. We have no errors now. All right, so we got this content. Let's run the solver. Let's auto paste it. Oh, yay. It auto pasted it, I think. Yeah, it did. So we have to say code is going to be parse code. We got to parse the code from the output because sometimes the output is like super weird. If it's a auto type, so it's a good old timeout. Ooh. Pace is good. We parsed out the, we, the regex is good. Let's get the solution here. Okay, cool. So let's auto type it. Yeah, we're auto typing. Ah, look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. This is we're auto typing the answer. So it looks like we're actually typing, kind of. You know, I mean, obviously, it's like flashing a little bit. We can fix that. It's an interesting way to solve it. Yeah, I was about to say, well, it passed before, but you got to trust me, bro. But let's let's test it out a sec. I don't know what the syntax error was. I, I think it's white space. Which so maybe don't do these in Python. I don't know what to tell you. So let's go and solve it again. Let's just auto paste it. I what am I doing? What's going on here? Invalid syntax. <laughs> I actually don't think there's any invalid syntax. Python. Let's just go to the Python. And then let's auto paste. Or let's auto type the Python. Nice. Okay. All right. So let's, let's actually go to a different. I need to get another one solved other than the two sum one before I go. Nice. Oh, uh, nice. All right. So just auto paste this one. But let, let's run the, the solution. It it got accepted. Okay. <laughs> I think we fixed up the prompt. All right. I'm not gonna test it anymore because I'm gonna want to keep doing stuff. All right, guys. Adios. Hasta luego. By the way, if you want to be around engineers that are actually interesting and cool join the discord lots of cool people that are going on it's in the description